All right, that goes to 91. Oh. No, I'm just kidding. It's not in service. Welcome back to another video, everyone. We have little Yoshi, aka Justin, and we okay. also have <laughs> yes. Today we're gonna be exploring the Union Square Station, Leechmere Station, and Cyrus Park. Three stations that have been renovated for more than two years now. How do you feel about that? This has been renovated for more than two years now. Uh, well, the MBTA just keeps pushing it and pushing it, but hey, now it's open. Yes. We're here this time. As decades has promised, the three stations have now been opened. Well, it's still in construction, as you guys can oh, see. Because yeah. it's not fully done. But at least partially of the uh, Union Square station is open. And we're going to take a ride to uh, Leechmere Station. So... Have you guys heard about the validation of your fares? Yeah, I still don't understand it. <laughs> Me too. I don't understand it. We either. have to validate our fares now with our you Charlie like card. Validate it your fare, even though you have like a twenty-four hour pass or like. Uh, so I talked to one of the one of my other friends. I believe it's like the World Transit. If you know him, you know him. Uh, I don't think so. On Instagram, it's Bus and Real. Oh. Yeah. So it says that you'll get like a receive. And that receive, you have to like keep it for the for like the entire trip of Leechmere and Science Park. So, here's one train already. Already? And there's a lot of people. They used the Type Nine voices that have been used. All right, let's get started. You want to get started? I guess. All right, let's get started. Let's let's see how you felt like your fare. All right. Sorry, no receipts available. Wait, no receipts available? That's what it says. No receipts? Try try see if it gives you a receipt. Yeah, look. It, wait, it this, won't give a receipt. There's no receipts left. Wow. This, that one doesn't even give a receipt either. This one doesn't have any receipts either. You might have to <laughs> talk. You might have to talk with them. Gates, yes, yeah. honestly. They could have had like, like two slots in there, but what are we going to do now? I don't know. We'll have to ride the train without a receipt. You might have to talk with the... Uh... I don't think so. Yes, you will. No. Go, go talk. I got a question. Yeah, yeah. The receipt, the, the machines don't give us receipts. So how no, are we... Not gonna give you. So how so are we... So you are fine for now. So, so we can just, can... so we can just go. You just can hop on the train and... Okay. Thank you. And here is the new map right here. Oh yeah, look at that. History trains every 17. No, 17? <laughs> 7. <laughs> yeah. Have you guys ever had a camera that glitches? Yeah. It does that sometimes, yeah, this but. Is the map right here. Union Square, even though it's right there. Yeah. It's usually like somewhere right here. But this is a neighborhood map, so. Mm. Chelsea has this, like some other stations have like made up hood naps. Yeah. And uh. And as we continue walking. I also took the commuter rail as well today. He did. He didn't hear that he took the commuter rail? Um. I don't think. Wait, did you take the commuter I did he today. Did. Mm. I, I did a poll on Instagram. I asked my friends and everyone if I should ride a commuter rail. And surprisingly, a good amount of people said I should ride a commuter rail. Huh. And I took it to Salem Depot because I didn't know where to go for the purpose of the community rail to just to ride a 450w mm -hmm. i like the 450w i've had like too many you, uploads you rode it a lot <laughs> <laughs> i rode it actually once but not with him but by myself <laughs> i also rode the 238 the 240 and some other routes as well next train oh that's cool it indicates where the next train is if it's gonna close. Uh, maybe? Doors are closing. So that means I think we just. Pop up. Oh, never mind. Uh, Alright, let's take a. Uh... Wait, you guys wanna film the front? Huh? You wanna film the front? I don't even think so. You can't film the front? I never filmed it in the front. Let's go to the front. Let's go to the front. That's the. What's it over there? Alright, let's go. Awesome. Uh, uh, uh. Alrighty, we're on the green line to Leechmere Station. 
They have a new bus the as well. Of this train is Beach Street, VA, VA Medical Center. Center. They used the Todd Nines for the Union Square one. Yeah. This hasn't changed, but once you get to like, oh, Leechmere. <laughs> Are you gonna record it? Um, um, you can record it, you can go kind of like sideways. I mean, I wasn't planning to, but. Well, let me see how the ride goes. station <laughs> I don't want you to look at that this one, this one? Uh, what do you think this is beautiful this is the new leech near station and yeah so so as you guys can see it says Union Square and Mefferin Tower so when 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 um when the Mefferin and Tulls branch will open, 
in this case, around like, uh, I believe in July, I believe? I don't know, somewhere around Probably. there. The MBTA will now make the E go all the way to Medford Square. It's not Medford Square, it's actually Tufts University. And then as for the D line, it will go to Union Square. Yeah. So instead of stopping at, I believe it's North Station, it will now stop at Union Square and the E will stop at Tufts University. So yeah. let's just keep exploring. Union Square trains every 7 to 13 minutes, even though the, cam the camera glitch. Yep, camera glitches, mirrors as well, and. It's a bit, it's a bit, it's a bit, uh, you're going to the left kind of thing. We have seats. These seats kind of look like the, uh, the SLT kind of seats. Federal law requires that face masks be worn in MBTA vehicles and our vehicles, regardless of vaccine status. Learn more at mbta.com slash I don't know what this is. I, I think it's like some type of display. That doesn't work. Yeah, probably doesn't work. Oh, type of camera. Well, maybe in the, in the future, Yoshi's Rice series, you probably see that working. But for now, I guess it won't working. So it's like somewhere around here, the, uh, the busway would be downstairs. Yes, the Leishmere busway would be down there. So the well, garage. The old one is somewhere is down. There. Is over there. Yeah. So. Do you guys like the new Leechmere station? But I've I gotten complaints saying that the bus is just making like tight turns. They do. They yeah. do, yeah, they make tight turns. And, and like as a 69, it goes way in the front. All the 87, the 80, and the 88. Have to going go back. Yeah, they have it. to go to the back. And you know how 69 service is going, right? Yeah. It's going pretty, it pretty much. Oh, I think this is security cameras, I believe. And those are meant to be security cameras, I believe. Yeah. We have lights, beautiful lights. And then the elevator. You guys want to take the elevator or we want to go down the stairs first? Uh, there is, we'll there's two elevators. We want to go down the escalators? Yeah. Let's Alrighty. Let's go down. All right, bus is just this way. Oh, this is interesting. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's a long, it's a long flight of stairs, guys. One, two, three, four, yeah, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, ten, eleven, ten, eleven, ten, eleven, ten. So, I mean, you know, nothing really, I mean, yes. <laughs> Alright, so... So this is where bike... So this is where bike racks are, and then you have the elevators over there. And supposedly over there is the busway. To... Not gonna lie, this kind of proves a disadvantage. You're kind of spending time just to get to the busway, which is kind of inconvenient because if the bus leaves in a minute and you just arrived at Leechmere, the bus is gonna leave and you won't even be able to make it. And second of all, there's no bus signs to indicate where the bus would terminate. Well, I mean, there's, there's some, there. yeah, well, some over there. Well, I still right now, I see that one that says 80 yeah the 80 just but like those there. signs that you find like on like regular MBTA bus stuff they should have those instead of having these see look the 80s right there 69s right there 87s right there and the 88 is way far over there but look at the little round thing that it has to turn but they have to be they have to really like go all the way down those stairs run to this part and catch those two buses they wouldn't be able to make it exactly that proves a disadvantage for people who want to get the 88 or the 87 or people who come from the 88 or the 87 or the 80 in particular because they have to take just those long stairs just to get there so that's kind of a disadvantage that's just my opinion everyone may have different opinions you know yeah so this is just my opinion i just think that maybe they could have had a busway that's like closer to leachman station but if yeah. this is what the mta can do then the MTA is going to do that, I guess. So and we, have, we have a commuter rail yard that's just down there. So that's actually for the the Leechmere, the new Green Line trains. And I believe after this point, so I believe they start, they come from there, that one road, mm -hmm. and they have to turn to O'Brien Highway. So they have to stop right there and then turn a left to... While well, the 69 goes down... No, it has to make a turn. To leave the bus, we have to make a turn, leave by turning left, and then take a right 
to O'Brien Highway. And as for going to the busway, you need to take a right to O'Brien to the busway and then a left, not right, two rights. I believe. So in your opinion, um How'd you know a left and a right, sorry. Okay, so in your opinion, what do you think is better? The new busway or the old one? I feel like the old busway because this is not the best. I mean, in perspective, there's no shelters. No like I agree. Anything like that. When it's raining, it's supposedly gonna start raining soon. When it's raining it's gonna start falling down on a sidewalk and there's no shelters that'll keep us Intact from getting what do you uh, think wet. is better, the old one or the new one? Definitely the old one. I agree. Yeah, so the old one is probably better. So that's probably something that the take could do so in future cases. The busway, I guess I'll give it like a 4 out of 10. <laughs> 4 out of 10, really? <laughs> yes, because... Why would you give it a 4 out of 10? Please explain why would you give it a 4 out of 10. The, the turn, there's no shelters. You have to so, run. Hey, guys, during, during, guys, during rush hour, when there's like a bunch of buses, like say like seven buses, they have to make sure they have to part accordingly. So then the buses that are leaving while the buses are parked, make sure they have to go on the turn without hitting any of them. That's the really, this is the most intense part. These operators have to go to immense, immense part. This is like the first, looks like the first thing they have to do, make a tight turn avoid hitting other buses and then getting on the bus wave and this applies to just during rush hour so that's what just, do you think that that's really bad that's scale of really... one to ten what do you give us huh, let's see well there are some disadvantages you know we have to the pros and cons the pros yeah it looks more better you have now time and you have more seats brought in the old one we have to probably stand up at the bus wave but even though you might have more seats, more accessibility, there is still some disadvantages. Like you, no shelter. you have to run for your bus. In this case, if a person who is, you know, having with disabilities, have to run for the bus, they won't be able to make it. In this yeah. case, like a, if they if the eighty seven comes in like three minutes, right? But if they just arrive there, they have to take the elevator, which might be a minute, and they have to go straight to there. Remember, guys, the 87 is right there. The 88 is just right there. And they have to walk to possibly catch it. And it's really short. It's really like a short space to walk. Somebody can actually fall and get hurt there. And it doesn't extend all the way. So that's just a disadvantage. So in my opinion, for the most part, I would give it a 7.7 .7 out of 10. Okay. Just for the most part. But if you know for the most part if what i would change is just adding like at least like a roof yeah to prevent us from like getting like wet or anything this thing needs a shelter honestly yes and as well as like parking spaces as well yeah well, what do you get this yeah in my opinion i just i just i feel like it's all about accessibility like there's not a lot of like you know ways to like actually like it, it like takes longer to get to the station yeah like agree like especially if you're going if you're coming from like the mall or something or from or from or from over there you would have to walk all the way around just to get did you just to get into the bus lane. yeah so i mean overall i give this a six out of ten um mainly because i don't know like i just feel like i just feel like it could have been you know a lot more but the bus lane could have been closer i mean the station's all right but the bus lane could have been maybe on like this side right here or maybe I don't know, something like that. Okay. But they're using like some of the space over here for like other stuff, like other businesses and stuff. So I guess this is what they could, this is what they had, I guess. And they didn't have no other choice. But I mean, if they had, if I was like the, if I was like a, a manager or something like that, I would probably just change like the road. It's like the, how the roads would go. Like probably make it like go up and then down and then make it more wider at least. Just so then these buses wouldn't have to make these so complicated turns. So that's pretty much just Lee Tremere Station. You guys ready to explore Science Park? Yes, sir. All right. So let's... the busway is good, but it could be better. Yes. Yeah. Yes. As long as the, uh, these buses will make such complicated turns, at least they'll be fine for now. But in general, there will be times where these buses will have uh, accidents such as, yes. you know, crashes or if there is an accident guys i kind of won't be surprised here you won't be surprised it won't be because look at the 
This one, I mean, in that one, that one has like a more longer turn, to be honest. Yeah, but it has a shelter. Look at it. I mean, true, but it kind of looks outdated, to be honest. I mean, they yeah, could... they could... thing. Yes. That is also... Like, I still don't... I still don't... Validate really mm -hmm. fares. I don't get it. Like... Also, that reason why like, Leech Nerd gets a 6 out of 10. Yes, yes. Yeah. Like, how are we supposed to validate your fares? And where's the fare machines? The yeah. fare machines? I don't know. They're probably somewhere over there. Probably. Let's check it out. We haven't explored over there yet. Oh. Let's see if they're over here. MR, yes, they are. Federal law requires that face masks be worn. But what really sucks the most is there's only two. Not three, not four, but two. Make it really inconvenient for you to wait for your time on the card. So let's see how it works. Want to scan it? All right, I'll give it a try. I actually don't know where my card. Oh, it's right here. Can you wait? Can you? Scan all right, all right let's, let's try mine. So right now I have a. Oh God. You have a link pass. So I I'm pretty a, sure this will work. I have a day pass on this, so let's see. Useful with that fare. I don't know if it's gonna touch this or my day pass. Let's just see. Tap your card. Valid until 624. So, printing proof of repayment received. Oh, so this is like proof of payment. There you go. So, let's see what it looks like. It looks like this expires 4 18 p.m. Wait, that's an hour or two hours? Um, I'm gonna check my phone. That's like two hours. Yeah, it's like two hours. Really? Yeah. Oh, so that's how you does. And I guess you gotta show this to the crew, so then you'll be able to go inside. You wanna do it? Wanna go next? Oh, uh, yeah. Let's yeah. Get this over with. You have to detect your fare. So that's like $2.40 gone. I know, right? I can't. I'm gonna put it down. All right, get started. Oh, all right. Oh, it's gone. Wanna take my camera? Uh, God, deducted $2.40 so if you don't have a, a day pad it will just deduct you know $2.40 all right guys so this is what it looks like so it basically just deducts your fare here's a here's those receipts so that's what it looked like for the most part um, and I guess you gotta show that to the MBT crew I mean it's a normal receipt <laughs> yeah it's somewhat normal but Thank you. for the most part you want to go next um, I don't have 90 cents now he said that since I have an M7, I don't think I have to validate it. You don't have to? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I, I get to take on the train probably. Oh. Oh, well, let's see, because I'm not sure. I have never been here before. It really says validate you're here, here. So that's just. Yeah. So I thought this one is blue, but this one isn't. I don't know. MBTA logic. <laughs> yes. If you understand me today, just comment down below what that is. I'd, yeah. be, I'd be waiting to respond to your comments down below. But anyways, let's head back to Let's head back to the station. Let's take an elevator. Okay. Alright, let's take an elevator. Oh god. Green line. And you can see there's two of those. I don't know what those oh, are. Got that one right there. Yeah. But anyways. Eh, they're both the same on yeah. All right, SL, that's, I don't know what that means. All right, let's board on. Going up. Green line, yes sir. Oh, it's street level. So SL means street level. And then it's going up. Pretty silent for the most part. This looks like the elevator from Ruggle Station. Well, it's pretty much almost every elevator. <laughs> Mostly. Not all, all, all elevators are the same, like Salt Station or AOI. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. Uh, already now. Here we are, back at the platform. And we are not sure when the next train will arrive because it doesn't display when the next train arrives, which is another disadvantage. Yeah. It doesn't display the time that it leaves. Like the SL3, it say when it's the first SL3 bus leaves and the second bus yeah. leaves. Like the four stations that are appearing in the SL3 before you go to SL station. But that's just another disadvantage I have. And this is what Oops. it looks like. From, oh, there it is. Oh, look. We got perfect. All right, perfect. We're going to explore Science Park. And then we're going to... I believe Science Park has the fair goods. Yes, yeah, Science Park. It didn't receive too much changes because, well, it was just changing for the tracks. But... 
maybe for the most part, maybe, maybe, maybe for the most part, we'll be able to see some renovations. And look at that E sign. Yeah, these are mostly on the Type 8. Type 8? I don't think so, but. All right, we have to go that way. Oh god, it's oh, way far. And that's some It's even bigger this advantage. You have to go way over here just to get the green line. That's a bigger disadvantage. Oh. You notice? That was a bigger disadvantage. You have to go all the way from there just to get to the green line, which is way over here, which is really annoying for the most exactly. part. Right? Yeah. You there goes the old station there. I wonder what they're gonna do to the station. They're probably gonna demolish it or something. But what are they gonna do with it? They have the extra space there. I don't know. And same goes for over here, like what are you gonna do over here? Sometimes when you're going to like Union Square, I think the train just stops randomly out of nowhere. Right? Stops randomly? What do you mean? Like, um, I watched Miles and Transit's video, right? Sometimes, I think he said sometimes uh, the train will just stop randomly for no reason. There goes a the bus right there. So this is kind of normal. As we would see from the 2020, 2020, 2018 S5. When was the last time you rode the green line to Leishman before it underwent construction? I think it was around back in 2020, around January or something like that. January? What about you? Uh, 2019. 2019? 2019? Yeah. I think for me, I think it was like, uh, I think it was like July actually. <laughs> July 2019. So it was like almost two years ago. Three years ago, actually. Oh, there's another town full. So huh? it doesn't play. Like when you go to Leechmere Station, right? It doesn't oh. say next stop Leechmere. Well, oh, yeah. It doesn't say it. It doesn't say it. But it says next stop Science Park and next stop Union Square. Oh. Oh, well, that's, so that's another town full. Yes, that's another town full. And over there, you have to see the commuter rail. The one that I took, which was the Newburyport Newbury Rockport line. Yes. And I think they're doing shuttle buses there, but Yeah, there's shuttle buses. Yeah. I almost got, I almost got like, worried. Oh, there goes the other one. Yeah, there goes the other one. Union Square. Entering Science Park. Doors will open on the right. This sounds chunky, I won't lie. Alrighty, so this is Science Park. Alright. Resume speed. Oh, I'll take the bad boy again. Gonna need myself. Oh. Now let's get off here. It's always known as West Sand, but anyways. Okay. Check that out, guys. Hey, see, look, they haven't even fixed this. Look, it still has cracks. Wow. Already. So Here has... downfall, signs hard. <laughs> anyways. All right, so this. They still have those. Those little parts right there. Yeah, those are fine. But what else? Seats. And nothing else. All right, let's go see. All right, so those over there are the stairs, but let's just say the, the apple. Yes. Let's say the elevator for now, and then we'll come back to the stairs for the most part. Let's just let's just see if they have the fair machines. Hopefully they do, but if they don't, then if they do, then uh, I'm not getting it's, out. It's normal, but if they don't, then I don't know what to say about it. What do you, What do you think? What do you think? Mm. When we check it out, what do you think would it be? Probably the fair goods. They will have it? Yeah, probably. Alright. Let's go check it out. Right. So they have three selections. You have platform, a seni. No. Mesenite? I don't even know how to say it. Mesenite, I think. And then street level. So let's, let's check out the mesenite first. Help prevent COVID 19. I think this was here before they took oh, it down. You gotta, you gotta get out first. Okay, 
Alright. Alright, so this is it. So those are the stairs. Those are long long flight stairs. The map. They haven't even updated yet. No four of the same ones. Yeah. Oh wait. No, they haven't updated this too. Oh yeah, but they didn't put like the little No, they didn't put Bleach Mirror or Union Square. That's kinda of confusing now. Mm -hmm. But this one they did. And I was right, look. What? There it is. Well, they're more, they're more. I'm not getting out. Wait, is this the only third There's actually another one over there. Wait, what about over here? What is this? Science Park Western. So, you have hand sanitizer and then you have a little bit of info, a little history if you guys want to see it. And then this is for the inbound, 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 yeah. This is for the inbound to Lichmere or Union Square Station. So, what do you guys want to do? You want to check out the outside? Uh, that means we'll have to pay again. Oh, you can't pay again? I, I only have 19, I mean, no, sorry, not 19, 90 cents. What if I just the pay? little receipt that I spent on. You want to go check outside? Um, we could if you guys want to. I mean, yeah, I'm, down, I'm down, I'm down. Let's go. Alright, let's go check outside. Where do we want to go? That way or that way? Yeah, it doesn't really matter. Alright, let's just go see. Alright, outside the three gates. So there's three over there. Why do they have the old ones? The electrical rooms over there. And then this is where we exit Science Park. Well, this is the left side, basically. Oh, God. My backpack. <laughs> Alright. Let's go down the stairs. We have That's another one, actually. So this actually is like. Uh, what do you think this oh, it's an elevator. But this is too. Leech me, I believe. So we have. <laughs> Probably, yeah. I think so, but I think they just update for the most part from yeah. like the old ones that uh, they had in 2020. And as we walk this way a little bit, this is the view of Science Park North Station just down there. Just take that tunnel. Yes, that tunnel. I think they just only did like interfaces on like the tracks in general, right? Yeah, pretty much. So in general they didn't really change too much the science part they just this in mind changed this like improving the fair gates the train tracks as well and i guess probably the in uh, the exterior and interior design changes because some of these seems like they have changed for the most part and we're on the left side so and there's spike racks as well let's see if they update the maps in this one so we have the neighborhood map over here. So let's see, Leverett Circle. You can do a couple things in here. You can go to the main entrance of Museum of Science. Yeah. And then you can also go to the Hayden Planetarium. Planetarium, yes. <laughs> how do you know how to say it? <laughs> and then you have all these other ones as well. So you guys can go and have a nice stroll walk down here. And I was here. Right here at the Mass General Hospital two years ago. And this was updated last month. Wow. So, did I ever tell you I was in the hospital like two years ago? Um, no, uh, I don't think so. I think I told you, actually. I don't remember how you got in So there. basically, I was in this condition. Well, this happened like a while ago, but basically I was just having fun with my classmates. We were just playing this game called Charlie Charlie, if you know it. Oh, yeah, yeah. And we were just asking a couple of questions, some dumb questions. And then a few days later, I had this kind of like infection that was like a bit bummed. It was actually on, you know, the rear end. And it kept hurting me every time I was sitting down. And this is also affected for the buses as well. So every time I was sitting down on a bus, it hurt so much. And I believe one day I was hanging out with my brother. Well, he was actually uh, going to work. He was taking the 105, but I told him like, it was gonna come like very late because of like heavy traffic. And he was like, oh God. And then a couple of days later, it kept getting worse. So then I had to go to the hospital. And luckily this was happening during February break. So it was like on vacation. So then after I went to the hospital, they diagnosed me. They didn't, they didn't even know what I said. They didn't even know what the disease was. They just said I had a, like a, some kind of infection. So then after the infection, they told me that I have to get like surgery for it. But I waited so long. It was like nine or 10 hours without any food to, get like cat scan and everything just to get a surgery 
and they cut my skin open and this is kind of graphic so if, if you don't like this please don't watch this don't watch this part skip to the timeline down here please don't, don't. <laughs> it's pretty it's just pretty um graphic to explain but basically after it was a surgery they put something inside i don't know what it was though but they say that shit like cure the infection and it says like a lot of pus as well i don't know if that was it's like pus so then a couple days later they um i went to a different hospital i believe that was someone i was talking about the national hall the first one i went to was the cambridge hospital that was along the route 69 so i went to the mass general hospital a week later and then they i don't really know what they said they couldn't really explain it well they just said that i just had like some kind of infection on me so they gave me like some kind of like syringe they put some syringe on me and they gave me some kind of medicine that makes me go like sleep to get surgery done but apparently i didn't even get surgery and i was feeling way tired i was kind of, i can't even move my own arms and i i was feeling extremely tired I, I couldn't even open my eyes at this point so the doctors told us that we actually have to go home so we went home i was in the wheelchair and then my father was picking me up because my mother was there and my sister was there so my father picked me up they all three of us up and then they we went home and then i was, immediately went to bed and i believe i got treated for medicine and then i ate some food because i have eaten a little bit and then they we went to uh, i believe it was walgreens or cbs to buy um products to help cure the infection on my rear end so after you know we've been doing this for like quite a while i just like uh kind of like squeeze out the pus so there's like a pinch of pus coming out of me um I guess like a couple of times and this happened for i guess like two weeks now so this happened also during school as well and then after this i was feeling a little bit better but things kind of escalated a little bit quickly as i was trying to find an appointment to check in with my doctor according to this um apparently i actually had to take a day off from school which broke my perfect attendance so this was on march 3rd so i took a day off on march 3rd 2020 and that broke my perfect attendance record. I was so devastated to hear that. My perfect attendance was like broken. But from that, we went, I was it's like 12.45. The point was at 12.45. So I was like, what should I do? What should I do from eight in the morning to 12 o'clock? And I asked my parents if I can go and just bus fan or real fan some buses over here. And surprisingly they say, yeah, so I can go film some buses and then get to the appointment get to the hospital by 12 45 so all i did was i went 11 and then i believe a green line of 57 i believe and then i stayed there for a little bit because originally what i wanted to do was a 501 right but i didn't really do it because uh, uh i think the albert was questioning me what was i doing outside of school so I, I felt uncomfortable because of that and i just left this stuff so i didn't really do the 501 on march there. i was really wanting to but i couldn't but i did something else i took the e6 to sullivan square actually no harvard square and then i took the same three because i thought to myself instead of doing the 501 how about the 504 the 554 instead so i did 554 but only to waltham center because originally i wanted to do it to downtown but i got off at waltham because i told you albert i was going to ride locally instead of express so after i got off at waltham i waited for the 72 university park and then i went to the red line to andrew where my father was waiting because he couldn't find parking at the hospital and then i basically just took transport took transit with him to the hospital we checked in with the doctor it was all good and then we went back on the red line back to the car and then we drove back home and then as time progresses it was getting more better 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 and then that's how the infection was gone i believe around i guess like probably a month later and wow. that's how my infection was and then i had another one on my finger oh my gosh, and i actually well this is like a last year but i had another one on my finger on my thumb and the, my mother actually knew what was going on so she actually cut my finger open <laughs> she cut my finger open to get all of it out i was actually kind of like i was kind of like face out i was about to like pass out because they're cutting me oh you were about to faint yeah i was about to faint i was like oh like i was feeling so i was feeling so so scared i almost passed out and almost faint but i was my mom was telling me keep calming down i was like i was like breathing so hard 
and then uh, then I believe I got treated with like a band-aid afterwards and then a few weeks later it gets a little bit more better and then I believe it's gone from there and then I had another cut just a few months ago around here <laughs> another cut right here but then it's all gone as well so uh, that's what basically what happens in that's when, like a whole 10 minutes of explaining. Yeah, basically, don't play Charlie Charlie. I actually played Charlie Charlie like a few days ago. <laughs> but uh, but nothing happened, basically. But for the right, most part, let's just... Go back to exploring this. Alright, so what do you guys want to do now? And I, I just ex explained like 10 minutes. Okay, so we can try to go over here. So we have to go back to the other one. What do you guys want to go next? Uh, Unless if you're going somewhere. Uh, I'm actually going, going to go somewhere. Where are you heading to? He's gonna get some food. Just gonna get some food or something. At the mall? Um, probably somewhere else. I'm still trying to figure it out. Oh, all right. Where are you? Where are you taking the train to? Leechmere um, or? I might take it back to Leechmere or Union Square. Oh, all right. We might go to the sun. We might go to the North Station. This yeah. Point. Yeah. All right. Well, it was really it was... nice to meet you guys. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Good to meet you. Hopefully, we we'll see you again. <laughs> yes, hopefully. hopefully. If you guys want to meet me, hit it up on my social media. I post it down in the description below. You. <laughs> I, mean, I have a social media uh yeah i'll post his as well if you have any social medias you might want to say it i mean i don't really have any as of right now but all uh, right you maybe your youtube channel um uh, i mean or, or me you could just be like a fan right yeah, I'm just a fan. yeah he's just a fan if you want to come you know hang out with me and do like a little bit of rides with me just let me know on social media or just comment down below one of my videos you just come and say you want to come along and have fun with the both of us or just me individually and maybe we'll see we can arrange you know times where you can uh, meet me up and we'll ride some buses together and meanwhile guys um taking um what do you guys think of science park bleach mirror union oh yeah Square? we got to give our pros and cons about it so what's oh your, yeah so what's your pros and cons about it pros it looks nice and everything yes uh, but the cons are just the same it's the same. Everything's just the same. The tracks, the little signboard. What about you? Um, I mean, I mean, same as what you said. Um, same. Basically, you know, you know, I mean, the cons is that you know, um, or the pros, you know, the station's still here. You know, it hasn't, it hasn't been demolished. You know, so that's good. It hasn't been eliminated. That's good. The cons is that it's just old and nothing really changed. So. Yeah, and the thing is. This has fair gates, but Leechmere and Union Square don't have it. Yeah. So that's, that's my question. How come the MBTA doesn't have the ability to add fair gates when they were planning on constructing Union Square at Leechmere Station? Unless, unless, this is a theory, unless they will be adding fair gates, but in the future, you know? Maybe, maybe but they maybe, have to figure out, like, where to put it. Yeah, because, you know, as we saw when we are going to Union Square, they were still constructing right there. Yeah. So maybe, in theory, they might add it, but just in the future. But right now, it's kind of, like, confusing to where we have to validate our fairs. So, but for now, Science Park has the uh, fair gates. So what do you give your rating on this? This, um... I'm gonna say, I guess a seven out of ten. Seven out of ten. What the station you? looks nice and everything, but everything's still the same. You? Okay, I had some memories here, so I'm gonna give this a eight, eight out of ten. Eight out of ten? To me, I don't know to be give honest. Give your honest opinion. Well, I mean, yes, they did clean it, but when time progresses even more, like twenty, like a year by year, it's gonna get dirty. And do you think the MBTA will actually have time to clean up? They won't. So, by the time when it's like five years later, it won't be as pristine, clean, shiny gold as, you know, as your mother does in your house, cleaning up everything and makes yeah. it clean and shiny. It will be dirty at some point, and that's what's going to train the aestheticness of Sunny's Park. So, and as the, as the fair machines progress, it's just kind of sadistic. I mean, I don't know about the fair machines, to be honest with you. The fair machines, they just look the same as They're the, the same other as one. every other ones. They're the same as, like, every other station that you find in, like, the same ones as you find, like, the orange line, blue line, and et cetera, et cetera. So, in my rating... And in your opinion... Well, right now, it's kind of like giving me these aesthetified, but because these stairs, as you guys can see... Oh, yeah. Are, that great and i mean the inside the interior the inside of there was good so that's you know positive points for that but because of these stairs and there could be other parts that they have not cleaned up and there's a little bit of exposure if you guys don't see it there's a little bit of exposure right there 
to the overhead wires and everything. So I'm gonna get this maybe a 6.8 out of 10. Okay. Just for the most That's part. What I could probably say if they can change it is probably just like cover up these wires and then probably, you know, fix that because that's been there since like it was opened. You know this? Yeah. What about you? What would you change? Um, what, what would I change? Yeah. Um, I mean, I don't know. It looks good for the I most mean, they part. Could, they could add the new um, time arrival thing. Yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah, that could be. That could it's be a thing. Maybe, maybe, maybe when it's like when the other branch opens, maybe they might actually now start putting those uh, timetables. But for right now, they won't. So they'll just like display us like trains every like seven six to seven minutes. Or so, like... he, so, so he says six, I say seven, he says eight. Yeah. All righty. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. And, you know, it was kind of like a roller coaster. You know, we have some goods, some bad, some. So I'm kind of yeah. neutral. But for wait, the wait, most... Wait, we forgot to ask the one question. What station do you think is better? Signs Park, Leech, or Union Street? Hmm. You know, for the most part, I feel like Leech Mare deserves the points. But I might change it if Union Square's, you know, construction is all done. So for the most part, I'm going to say Leech Mare because, yes, you have more the more accessibilities. But it's just, it's just because I don't really feel like... Union Square deserves it because I mean, yeah, you have shelter, yeah, 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 but, but it's still under construction. But there's no way. I don't even know how to explain it, but I you know I know from my from my opinion, I think Leech is better. What do you think? Um, I definitely think. I mean, as of right now, Union Square kind of looks. It looks simple, but it's not really that special. Okay. Um, Science Park, you know, same. No, nothing. Same old. So Same. I guess, so I guess Leecher, Leechmere kind of, kind of deserves a little bit more recognition here. Yes. Yeah. Nice. And what about you? I would say Leechmere too. Why? Eh, because it looks better. It looks better? Yeah. And it has a few more stuff a little bit. So, I got a question. So, if you can change any to, to one of these stations, if, you have, if you're the manager and you can change one thing to one of these stations, what would you change and to what station? Probably renovate these stairs a little bit. <laughs> Maybe. But what if they get old again? I have no clue. What about maybe, you? Maybe, maybe like uh, add the fair gates, probably the Leechmere and Union Square. Yeah, probably. What about you? I actually have two. So for Science Park, those fair gates show, don't like just don't like just separate them. Like like for, by gates, like just don't have one like separate from. Yeah. Them, have them close together, you know. Yeah. Like a normal station. Yeah. For Leechmere. They, they really need to just relocate the busway. Yes, yes, yes. yeah, definitely. 100%. I wonder if the MBC is going to reconsider actually fixing the busway. Hopefully they will, but if they don't, um, hopefully you guys get used to the busway because it's not as... It's as, not that special. It's not pretty as you think it would be, but maybe in the future it, it will it, be. It is good, but it could be better. But maybe in the future we will. As I'm going to be doing more of these in the future, as I'm going to be riding the more buses in April, we'll be exploring as well as Leechmere, Science Park, and Union Square as well, right? Yes. So, when I start right now on April break, we'll be exploring these places as well. Maybe see if they can renovate some of the things, you know. But if they don't, uh, I don't know. I might just keep it my rating that way and keep it my opinion that way. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, make sure to smash that like button and comment down below if you want more. Subscribe dude. to his channel, all right? Yeah, subscribe to subscribe my channel. Subscribe to him. And, I don't have one. And uh, you better say goodbye because... Mm -hmm. All right. Bye. And? Bye, viewers. Bye. And Try to share this. Yes. Yeah, share the share this right now, guys. Share this right now. Share this to your viewers. If this gets... Hmm, how many likes? Five or ten. If this gets 30 likes, 30 likes, 3 zero. If this gets 30 likes, I will do a challenge here. A well, challenge. Yeah. A with challenge. Who? By yourself or? Maybe. I might do it by myself. Okay. But maybe, maybe, maybe something along over here. Maybe I'll do a challenge. Okay. But for the most part, I think I'll just keep it my rating. He'll keep his opinions and he'll keep his opinions. But for the most part, you know, eh, it's all right. If you guys get a chance for these, to check for these out three, the stations, it's all right. Go ahead. For these three stations, it's all right for me. How do you feel about these three stations? They're all right. Yeah, they're all right. What about you? They're all right too. They're all right too. Yeah. So we all think it's all right. Besides but the Leechmere bus story. Every every other person may think, oh, it's great, or oh, it's trash, or shit, <laughs> it's boo. So hey, everyone has their own opinions. Oh 
Like, we can't, we can't judge. So, you can't judge them. Opinions, so, are that's good. all from this episode. I hope you guys did enjoy this. Smash that like button. Remember, 30 likes, and I will do a challenge here somewhere around these three stations. But, uh, yeah, hopefully, you guys enjoyed this. And, hopefully, uh, you guys enjoyed the video. Subscribe to Yoshiistic. And I'll see you later from Yoshiistic. Right. Lil Yoshi. And maybe some other time if I get to see you. <laughs> and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.